Hey everyone, it's Shannon again with the Also Archives. Today will be my second vlog at work in patient transport. Uh, my glasses keep fogging up on this side. Um, but today is day two of my rotation. So what I do is I work six days straight, six 12 hour shifts in a row, and then I'm off for eight days. So it's pretty nice. Awesome. But today I'm working with my regular partner who is a paramedic. Yesterday was day one. So we, in total, I drove 200 plus miles just yesterday in the 12 hour shift. And um, we had patients ranging from COVID positive to heart attack patients, to um, patients that were on a ventilator. And we just took people to different hospital facilities for higher level of care. So today we'll see how it goes and see where we'll be sent and how far I'll drive today. The thing I love about this job the most is that I've gotten to see almost every hospital in the DC and Maryland area. A couple, I've been to a couple hospitals in um, Virginia. So that's been a very valuable experience for me as a pre-med because I not only get to see how the hospitals are set up, how they function, how they run, but I also get to interact with a lot of the nursing staff, the patient care technicians, um, respiratory therapists, and all the different fields that work in the medical um, in these medical facilities and nursing homes. So to me, that's been extremely valuable. Um, just knowing the ins and outs of how these facilities work, what units are for what type of patients, which facilities are tending to cardiac patients versus which facilities are more specialist for trauma or things like that. So that's been one of my favorite parts of having this job. Another reason why I love this job is the patient interaction. So I've gotten to meet a lot of unique people along the way, just in my couple of months of working here. Um, for example, children ages, I think the youngest was about two and oldest I think was a 102 or 103 years old. So the full range of ages I've been able to interact with. We actually took one guy back to prison which was very, very interesting. I'd never been into a prison before, but we actually took him into the infirmary of the prison, um, just a chronically sick patient. Um, another, another lady we took home, a couple of patients we've taken home actually have been millionaires living in luxury houses and things. So these are all experiences that I would have never gotten and people that I wouldn't have been able to interact with if it wasn't for this job. So it's, it's allowed me to improve on my communication skills, compassion skills, as far as being able to look at people where they are and meet them where they are and not judge them or not make any, any preconceived notions about them and what their life is like. Um, because you really never know what people are dealing with or what they're going through in their private life. So being an EMT patient care transporter is a great way to kind of hone those skills and be able to really expose yourself to a lot of different people as far as patients go, but then also, as I spoke of before, all the healthcare providers, um, you name it. So this, this vlog wasn't too, too exciting, but I hope it gives you a little bit more of a view into what my job is like. A lot of driving, I've already drove about 130 miles so far and we're only about halfway through the shift. So I'm probably gonna hit um, another 200, if not more tonight. Now I'm back. I have just gotten a nice fresh cup of coffee from 7-Eleven. This next call is going to Bethesda and I'm not quite sure what's going on with them, um, but it is an ALS call, which means that um, it's, it's a transport that requires cardiac monitor so we take the little stickers and put the leads on the patient's chest and and um and legs to to monitor their heart they're also hooked up to the blood the blood pressure monitor and the pulse oximeter to make sure that their oxygen is they're breathing okay their oxygen's normal um so 
So they're on that for the duration of the transport. So that is pretty much every single one of our calls. They're all ALS calls, so we do hook everybody up the same way for each call. So thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully the next vlog will include more patient cases once I get some cool ones that I would like to share with you all. And until then, if you could please, please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the Also Archives. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so I can make my um, URL unique. So please, please help me with that. Just subscribe right down below in the box below. But thank you all again and stay tuned for the next video.